Hi guys, welcome back to Saf by Tammy. I just wanted to touch base with you guys again, see how everyone's doing. I know the big talk right now, uh, what's going on in the world is coronavirus. So please, please, please make sure you're being safe. Wash your hands, 20 seconds, um, and just pay attention to what you guys are doing out there. And I think we'll all come out of this on the positive side. But I wanted to try and come back and talk to you about makeup and give everybody a break from everything that's going on in life. So um, some of you asked how to do my makeup or how I do my makeup. So this is just going to be a quick makeup tutorial on that. Um, just as a side note, I'm going to leave off my brands, my colors, things of that nature, just to make the video go a little bit faster for you. If you'd like to know what those are, let me know. I'm more than welcome to do another tutorial or even send you the makeup that I'm using, the brands or the colors or things of that nature. Um, also, a second note for you to know is you see that I'm wearing glasses. So once I take them off, I have a very hard time seeing. So I'm currently in my bathroom. I've got a couple mirrors set up around me. Um, my magnifying mirror that's in front of me. I have one to the side, one in front. You can see my bathroom mirror back there. But I have a definitely excuse me, I have a couple different mirrors that I'm gonna be using throughout this. So I'm gonna try and get really close so that I can see, and hopefully that'll help you guys see at the same time. Um, so here we go. <laughs> um, so I've laid out my makeup already ahead of time. I usually do that, that's nothing new for me. Um, as I'm doing my makeup though, I will put my makeup away. I'm a mom of three kids, so the faster I can be, the better off that I am for me and my family. So that's just a quick tip for me. Um, also, please note, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't claim to be, I don't wanna be. <laughs> um, so this is just the best that I can do for myself. If you take away something from it, that's awesome. I think that's great but it's not the Bible by any means. Whatever works for you, please feel free to do so. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to zoom in real quick before I actually get started. Okay, and I'm gonna do a quick adjustment of the camera because I'm gonna be moving back and forth a lot and I wanna make sure that you guys can see me and not just my forehead. Okay, so I don't use foundation. Um, I use just like a cover-up concealer on my face. So you can use whatever you want. I just found that concealer, or excuse me, a foundation really cakes on my face and gets into the lines that I'm getting older. So I try not to do that. So I'm just gonna do a quick concealer touch-up. And for me, it's around my dark circles, my eyelids, and then I have a red nose. So anywhere that's red for me is usually where I'm putting it. Um, some girls will do highlights, you'll see that, which I'll do for you today. So they'll run it down the side and give you a highlight. I have a secondary color that I'm almost out of that I'll use today. Normally I don't use it unless I'm going out for the evening, but it's just a darker shade. And it's really just to call out my highlight or to create highlights, I should say, instead of calling them out. So that's what I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing. Um, as I scoot back and forth, it's just because I'm putting my makeup away um, so I don't have it out. So me, personal preference, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the lighter areas because they're gonna dry really fast and that way I can get them blended in first. So, no rhyme or reason to whatever way you want to do it. You notice I was just going like this, tapping around my face. Sometimes I'll brush, like the sides I'm going to brush here in a moment. But it's your personal preference. Um, you'll also notice when I come over and I do my eyelids, that when I finish, make sure you're going over your eyebrows. But when I finish, you notice I was doing a swipe. If you're young, they'll tell you not to do that. They'll say, come down here in a triangle. But for me, as I got a hair, sorry, um, I don't do that because I feel like I'm pulling my face down like this. It's just personal preference. I probably shouldn't, but you'll notice I will finish on an upward swoop. It's like a personal facelift. Okay, let me just do the other side real quick. This should not take you guys that much time, okay? 
You'll notice I've only got the side color here, so I'm going to come through and I'm going to do the side color and try not to touch that darker one. As I get in, the last thing I want to do is the dark spot here to kind, kind of bring out my cheekbones. Now I'm using a very light one. It's not going to make a big difference. You're probably not going to see much of that com contrast that you're looking for, but this kind of gives you an idea. Okay. So my concealer's done. Next, I live in Vegas. Everyone's tan here. Sun's out all the time. So what I'm going to do to fake it is I'm just going to use a quick bronzer instead. If you use a bronzer, be really careful because it can go on really dark. And then all of a sudden you'll be like, oh my God, what happened? So you're better if you start off lighter and then just progress to darker if you need to. If you're using a foundation, sometimes you'll have that dark color already into your foundation and you don't have to do this. But like I said, since I'm not using a foundation, I prefer to do this instead. And I'm gonna come down my neck and then blend it all in. Before I finish with my foundation though, I wanna come back with a smaller brush so that I can call out my cheekbones on both sides. And then I'm gonna come up here and do it in my hairline. Guys, if you're supposed to be sun-kissed, don't forget the sun goes through your hair, so don't Forget this part right here. It's gonna be really, really important. And I feel like I'm getting cut off. Let me fix this for a second here. Okay, hopefully that's better for you guys. Um, Cause the sun kisses through your hair, right? So if you pull back and you're seeing this white, you just didn't take your foundation or your browns are up high enough. So just don't forget to do that. Um, I'm gonna move to my blush next. It's Real simple, real light. I don't like a lot of rosy color in my cheeks, so I'm not gonna do this heavy. I'd rather have the bronzer color for my personal preference. So I'm just doing a light. And same thing, I'm coming up and around my face. And a little bit on my nose on that one. All right, you'll notice I'm putting my makeup away as I'm doing it. All right, so let's move to our eyes. I lied, let's move to our eyebrows. So my eyebrows, I used to use them like a, a brow pencil. I found that I really, really liked it, but it was super expensive. So I decided not to do it anymore. So what I'm gonna do is actually do my um, eyeshadow, sorry. So I'm gonna use the darker colors here, and then I'm gonna come over here to the lighter colors as a highlight. And I'll give you an idea what that looks like. So I'm gonna take my brow pencil, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come straight across and then stop and then angle my pencil and come down. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot in for you. So I'm just gonna fill it in. And I'm stopping right here at that corner like I was talking about. And then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna come down. The reason I do that is to give myself that little angle that all the girls seem to like. So again, we're just tracing your own eyebrow, coming across, and however you want to fill it in, however dark you want it, however light you want it, that's fine. And then switch your angles and come down. Now, if you want your eyebrows to look thicker, just trace up higher up on your eyebrows, okay? All right, let's switch and I'll do that highlight for you. So we're gonna come across and then down. So across and down. And the same thing with the top. Across and then come down. Now you, with your own eye, should be able to see this. But as we continue our makeup, it's gonna get blended in. So not everyone else is gonna be able to tell. If for some reason you get it on your brow, just come back and retouch up your brow here with a darker color. But you should have the lighter color on the outside and on the inside. And that's it. Eyebrows should be very quick, very simple for you. Okay, so let me put this away.
So I'm going to do multiple colors on my eyelids and I'm going to do it just like I do when I go out so that you guys can get an idea of what it looks like because people have asked me how to do it. So I've got one, two, three, four, about five colors that I wear on a normal time when I'm going out. So let's start. We're going to start with a taupe color and this is just an all over what we consider a base color. This should not take you long. It's just a quick sweep. And then you're done. Guys, if you get it into the highlight that you just did for your eyebrow, that's okay. Because we're gonna eventually blend this all in. That's how fast it is. It's really quick, really simple, nothing major or elaborate. You're done with that color unless you decide that you wanna use it later. Um, I'm usually okay, I don't usually have to pull it back out. Um, but if you want to and you wanna light it up, feel free. Okay. I'm gonna to switch to my darker color. You can see I use this one all the time. A um, Couple things to note for me. So when women are doing their makeup, you hear it all the time in the tutorials that when you do your makeup, you tap, make sure you touch it off or make sure you're blowing it off. Okay, so for me personally, I don't. I just swirl or pick up my makeup less. I don't do it as much, so I don't have to do that tapping off because I don't wanna waste this makeup. It's very expensive. So, own personal preference, again, whatever you guys wanna do. Um, another thing, I have a hooded eye. For those of you who don't know what a hooded eye is, let me grab right here. I'm gonna grab something here. I'll grab my old brow pencil. So with a hooded eye, so I'll do it for you, and hopefully you can see because the angle that I'm at. So if I look straight on to you guys, you can't see my eyelid. Like if I close and I open it, you can't see. So any color I put here is not going to be very apparent to you when I'm looking at you. So anyone with a hooded eye, they recommend putting it right here on this brow bone. Okay. And you'll see here in just a moment when I get through and I do it to give you an idea of what that looks like. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tap. Okay. So now, let me sit up so maybe you guys can see. If I look straight on, and then if I close my eye, right, in order to see that color, I've gotta have it up here so you can see it. Okay, so let me do the other side. It'll just take me a second here. And I just had to do a quick check in the other mirror. So I've got a baseline. It doesn't have to be perfect right now because we're going to do a second coat on all of the shadows that we're putting on, or at least I am. So it'll give you a better idea. Another tip trick from me. So at the holidays, I like Mac. So at the holidays, Mac gave away these little, not gave away, but they were selling these little um, gift bags and gift ideas for Christmas. So I bought this one. This one is a bunch of uh, blushes, but I end up liking this so much that I actually will use this bottom one, which is like a pink hue to it, and then this gold one as my eyeshadow instead. Not only does it look cool, but it also gives you a whole lot more eyeshadow that you guys can use. So I use this one during the holidays, but I'm gonna use it for you today so you can see what it looks like. And all we're gonna do is draw a straight line in the center so I'm taking the pink color right now. And as I said that I had to fix it because I had the gold on there. Okay, so we're gonna take the pink color and we're gonna go right down the center and tap it. And let me make sure you guys can see me again. It's a quick straight up and down tap and that's it. And I'm going right over the other color and that's okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to switch to that gold color and I'm gonna bring that in and the color in the corner. In the corner. Let me try it again. I'm gonna bring the gold color in and do it from the corner and I'm gonna spread it all the way out. Okay, so if I come here So 
So you see I've got the dark purple, the pinkish color, and then the gold. And it may be a little hard to tell on the camera the color difference, but that at least gives you an idea. So let me come back over here and do this side. So I have the light, or excuse me, the dark purple, the pink, and I'm about to put the gold in the corner. So this one you can probably tell a little bit better than the other one of the three different colors. Again, I'm not looking for it to be perfect right now because I'm going to come back and I'll do that second layer here in just a moment. What I want to switch to is my eyeliner before I put that second coat on. So today for me, I'm going to use like a soft gel eyeliner. You guys can use whatever. I've done a regular pencil, the gel, the liquid. Um, doesn't matter it's whatever you're comfortable with since I have a hard time seeing this one goes on the smoothest for me so that's why I'm gonna do this one first so let me see if I can get in here and you can see it So guys, I'm almost blind. So when I close my eye, I have a hard time seeing it, as you can tell right here. So let me fix this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna switch eyes. And guys, I'm doing this by complete feel. So if it's not perfect, that's why. So let me check. So for me personally, I don't like this one because of how I was feeling. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip. Okay. If you ever mess up, Q-tip is your best friend. <laughs> All right, so eyeliner's on on the top. And then I'm gonna do something that's against what I should be doing makeup wise, or at least what everyone thinks. Cause I like it this way instead, but it's your personal preference. So when you have a hooded eye, you should not be putting really dark eyeliner down here. You should be leaving the corner of, the, of your eye open. Um, I'm gonna go against that and I'm gonna do the dark eyeliner and I'm gonna do my watermark so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the watermark. So this is my eyeliner down below and my watermark. So you can see both. I'm going to do this side with just the eyeliner so you can see the difference. Okay, so here's the difference. This one has both the eyeliner and the watermark. This one just has the eyeliner down below. So I'm going to add my watermark on this side so you can see now I'm combined together. Okay, so there's both of the watermarks done. So I am good to go. I'm gonna go back now and do my final touch up of my eyeshadow. So I'm not gonna to add too much more dark color, just so you know. Obviously it's daytime. We're in self quarantine, I'm not going anywhere, so I don't wanna waste that much makeup. And again, I'm staying on that brow bow for me. Okay, so you might see that I'm starting to get makeup here on the sides. 
it's okay. Don't worry about it right now. We'll take care of it here in just a little bit at the very end. And then you won't have to worry about it at all. I'm gonna go back to the colors again, right? The pink one and then the gold one. This time when you're doing them, try not to overlap over your uh, eyeliner that you just did. Okay, there's the pink one. And now I'm gonna flip my brush and do the gold. This time with the gold, I want you to come up and all the way over. Okay, this is really how you're gonna blend in just a moment. All right, yay! Put my stuff away. Okay, I do need to blend and I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna use one more color. You'll notice that this one's almost completely gone. The reason I'm using this one is because when I swirl, it's really clearing off my brush and only picking up a little bit of makeup instead. And I'm gonna sneeze, I apologize. <coughs> Sorry. Because this one will allow us to blend and not add a lot of makeup. And I'm not looking to add makeup right now, okay? So, we're gonna come up here, around your nose, around to the edge, and then just swirl back and forth. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. Up your nose to the side and swirl. That's it. Very quick, very simple. And I'm gonna pause this for just a moment because my nose is running. Okay, so we did a quick blend up and around on both sides. And that really is the, all the makeup or the eyeshadow that I'm gonna be doing right now. Before I move to my lips, I'm gonna put on a primer. So it'll just take me a second here. So this is gonna be pretty quick and simple for lips. Um, right after this video, I'm gonna do my makeup tutorial for my lips because like I said, people have been asking me about my glitter lips, so I wanna make sure that I get that done and you guys get to see that. So right after this video, my next one I'm gonna post, I promise, will be my lips. <laughs> so for your lips, you wanna come down in an M, okay? This is your bow. You wanna make a little bow, so it's an M, okay? So you wanna think about that when you're doing your lips. So I'm gonna get closer and adjust the camera real quick. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see me. So like I said, you're gonna do your M on your lips first. And shame on me, I should be doing this with my glasses on so I can see better. So what you'll notice is down here, I used the tip and then I went flat with the pencil and went and filled it in. Okay. That's it. So I've completely filled in my lips with my lip liner. I did the bow, the bow, okay, and then I came across, and then one foul swoop right across the bottom and keep going back and forth to fill it in. You'll notice how I filled it in with my pencil, right? So the tip and if I turn it to the side you'll see the makeup's on the side right there that that's the flat part when I was laying it flat and going across okay next thing you want to do is make sure that you fill it in with your lipstick and 
and your lips are technically done. The only thing I haven't done is finished up the makeup that's right here, so I want to make sure that I do that. I'm going to come back and do my mascara. This is probably going to be pretty hard for you guys to see on camera, but I'm going to try and get it so you guys can see it. Um, mascara, whatever way you want, doesn't matter to me. I've heard up, I've heard wiggle it, I've heard 10 seconds, I've heard the point. Doesn't matter, it's whatever works for you, okay? So I'm going to do a combination of a couple different things here. And I'm going to try and stay in camera frame for you. Okay. I'm sure my husband's going to say, why do you have makeup on when we're not going anywhere? We're not doing anything. <laughs> okay, the bottoms, I am going to use the tip of the mascara because I can't see, it makes it easier for me. I feel like there's nothing on there. There it goes. Okay, and then I'm going to come back up here and do the inside. Now I'm going to show you guys something in just a second. Because I was getting in a hurry, I look like a hot mess. It's called daily life, right? This is what happens right here. Non-professional, this is what happens. So I'm gonna show you. You'll notice down here that I have mascara all down here. And if I close my eyes, I have it all right here, okay? I'm gonna leave it for a second. I'm not gonna mess with it. I just wanna leave it be for just a moment. The reason being, I want to let it dry, and then I'm going to show you how you can fix it really easy without any issues. In the meantime, let me do my last couple steps that I have here. So I'm just going to do a little highlighter, sweep it across, and I want to come underneath the eye, and this is where I can touch up that makeup that I missed right here. And I'm going to try not to touch this too much here. Okay, and then up, oh, touch it up. Done. Woohoo. Okay. Let me see if it's dried enough so that I can show you the trick on how to fix this. So I'm just going to take a Q tip. And with a Q tip, what I'm going to do is come down here where I've got the mascara and just wipe it off. And I'm going to roll while I'm doing it. See how easy that came off? Gone. Okay, let me get a clean one and I'm gonna do it up here so you guys can see again. So if you notice right here at the corner, I have it. See how it came off and it's on my, on my brush now instead? Right there. So much easier than trying to try and do it Try and take it off when it's uh, wet. Just let it dry a bit. And voila, voila, it's all fixed. Um, another tip, and I'm just gonna come back in here and just do a quick, because there's I have so much makeup on, I don't need to add to my makeup, I just need to blend. If you Overwipe with your Q-tip, that's a tip that you can do. Um, also, if you get makeup in the corner of your eyes when you're waiting for, to finish, just take the Q-tip and roll gently in the corner of your eye and it will take up all the mascara or all the makeup that your eyes are trying to flush out. And that way you don't have to worry about it. Okay, one last thing, my last per se color 
is this one. I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see it. So this color right here is awesome for everyone who's doing selfies or you're doing pictures with people. It's a photo finish color, which really brings out an accent to your face. So I'm just going to put it in the corner of my eyes real quick. And then I come up on the side here. And then straight down your nose. Now I'm going to make it really obvious because I'm doing it for you guys. But you should be able to see the line coming right here. And then at the angle and an angle. But you would blend this together and you wouldn't do it as strong as I did. Because I wanted you guys to be able to see it. So I'm just going to do a quick blend. Okay, and then I have a spray that I use. It's a primer spray, but I use it as a finishing spray because I really like it. So I'm going to back up here. Ah, it's so refreshing. <laughs> okay. So let me back this back out for us. And I'll pull my hair back down. Okay, so there's a quick tutorial on my makeup, what I did for my makeup. Um, I promise you guys my next video will be my lips so that you can see it. I'm gonna take a few minutes here and take off my lipstick so that I can have the tutorial go right from what we're doing right now. And I'm gonna try and do a couple different lipsticks and shades, the glitter ones, the ombres, and I think I might try a new one with you guys to see if I like it or not. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, I hope you took away something that you found was helpful, useful. If not, I appreciate you guys tuning in and everybody keeps bothering me that I keep forgetting to say, hey, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe, give me thumbs up, likes, hearts. Again, everyone, please be safe while you're out there with coronavirus going on. It's really important that we help each other out right now, support each other and stay at home, right? If you have the opportunity and your job allows you to stay at home. For those of you that have to be out, we appreciate everything that you're doing, but we still want you to be safe and try and remain healthy. So I will see you guys soon. Love you lots. I hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial and stay tuned.